A rich collection of Las Vegas history is growing. Right, the Neon Museum downtown off Las Vegas Boulevard near Bonanza moving to a larger location in the Arts District. 8 News Now reporter Brian Will tells us when we can expect the big expansion to take place and what's going to happen with some of those Mirage signs. The humming of signs from the past fills this boneyard just north of downtown Las Vegas. This sign has endured monsoons, the 120 degree summers, the below freezing winters. Some of these original neon tubes date back to the original uh, installation on the side of the building. This sign says Aaron Berger of the Neon Museum is one of many people come to see that represent Las Vegas history. We had 200,000 visitors that came through last year and we turned away 30,000. Here at the museum's current site, they have outgrown this area with a lot of their signs sitting in storage. The new site would triple the size of the museum, allowing them to bring more signs out and put them on display. Of what you see behind me, there's about 275 signs or so that are on display. That really represents only 30, 35% of our collection. It's not just what's outside either. The new site will be located on top of a 10-story parking garage at Boulder and Art Way. That's the area just north of Charleston in the Arts District. It would also include indoor displays that will allow them to display artifacts that can't be kept outside. They're also working on getting some new signs from the recent closures of the Tropicana and the Mirage. I feel very, very confident that we're going to see some things come out of the Mirage as well. Preserving the rich history of Las Vegas through neon lights. Brian Will, 8 News Now.